Hey there, welcome to Kami Hobbies. My name is Kevin. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video today talking about kind of the differences between analog and HD0 with the HD0 goggles. Um, you can see here the first quad that I'm flying is a little 1S baby tooth. The all up weight is 58.7 grams. Uh, the reason I put that in there is just because the second one will be much heavier. So don't look at the flight quality so much as just the video quality itself. Now, analog, I mean, honestly, for a little 1S quad, these things look great. This is the FPV cycle baby tooth with the FPV cycle 1S 13 millimeter motors, the original FPV cycle 1S flight controller ESC all-in-one, a TBS Nano Pro 32 Nano VTX, and the Cadex Ant Light 4.3 FPV cycle camera. Uh, the video, and excuse my terrible flying, <laughs> uh, the video is pretty good, all things considered. The video is clean, there's not a lot of distortion, but you'll notice that things kind of move around, uh, like the OSD moves around a little bit, things are not as clear as they maybe could be. Yeah, there's a little bit of crap on the lens after crashing, but it, ultimately the analog video just is not as clear as it could be. You can't make out details as far as as branches go, things like that. Things can kind of get lost in the background. Um, and really, it's just not quite as good as, as video quality can be, right? So this, um, you know, quad fly is great, but it's just not as clear as it could be. You can see flashes from the fusion module kind of putting the image back together color flashes, distortion, all sorts of things like that, and I don't have it in this video, but uh, at the edge of range, the screen will roll with both a TBS Fusion and a Rapid Fire. Uh, in this case, I'm on a Fusion, um, but that's true. And this, by the way, is about as good as analog can get in terms of visual fidelity. This is with the HD Zero goggles and the TBS Fusion and the analog module, so it's very, very nice. The deinterlaced video is coming through the goggles live, so there's none of that, you know, like Orca goggle where it looks really good in the DVR because the DVR is actually deinterlacing the video, but in real time it's not. These goggles are basically showing me exactly what you see in the video, which is pretty cool that Carl was able to do this real time deinterlacing. So as we switch here to the much heavier quad. Uh, this is also a 1S baby tooth, also uh, running almost the same stuff. This is the first gen FPV cycle motors, uh, so the green ones, not the white ones for the 1S motors. Um, has the same exact flight controller all-in-one. On both of these quads I'm running the ELRS Happy Model EP2 receivers. Um, but the difference here is that this quad has HD0. Now, the weight difference is not due to HD0. The weight difference here is because ooh, is because the quad, uh, I was just messing around with it, so it has a super heavy 4,000 milliamp hour 21700 cell on it, um, lithium ion, so it's super heavy because of that. It's literally more than twice as heavy as the analog quad. Uh, without the 21700 cell, they're within like five grams of each other overall, um, so it doesn't add very much weight. Um, but you can see here just how crazy good the HD0 video is. And right here is about the worst that you will see HD0 get, but the thing is, as long as HD0 is getting some video through, you'll notice that it doesn't distort. There's no distortions, there's no screen rolling, there's nothing like that, and that's kind of the reason that I really prefer HD0, because for me, even though that video looked absolutely atrocious with all of the rainbow sparkles, as everyone calls them, uh, it was still totally flyable because those sparkles kind of move around. So, you know, every other frame or every three frames, you're still basically getting the full image across. And when you're flying, it's actually really easy to parse what packets or what blocks in the frame are good compared to which ones are bad. 
and it makes HD0 so easy to fly even at the end of range. And that's really why I prefer it because you don't get screen rolling. For me anyway, when the screen rolls, I completely lose my ability to control the quad. Whereas if it gets super sparkly like that, it's actually not that big of a deal. And you know, maybe this has helped because I'm at home, right? I'm flying around my own property. I know where everything on this property is, but it's super helpful for me with HD zero to just never have to worry about screen rolling. Um, the OSD elements with these HD zero goggles are awesome. They look fantastic. The video is unbelievably good. Um, I'm going to be trying to get in there pretty soon uh, with another video about the actual quality in the goggle, you know, do the sort of Bardwell style, put a camera in the lenses and see how it looks. Um, but yeah, I mean, these, these goggles are just absolutely incredible and Carl knocked it out of the park. I'm Kevin from Kami Hobbies. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more.